Hey guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you my favorites for the month of June and I have a few here beauty and fashion favorites like usual but the first thing that I want to mention is that I'm thinking about possibly changing it up and not doing beauty and fashion favorites every month. What do you guys think? I'm thinking possibly doing something like a favorite outfit of the month or something like that. I just want to be doing something a little bit different. I feel like favorites videos have been out there forever and I really just want to produce really interesting content for you guys so let me know what you would prefer if you want me to continue doing monthly favorites or if you'd prefer to see my favorite look of the month but I'm gonna jump into it and on that note I'm gonna start with fashion and the first thing I want to mention is something I've been wearing all month long and I've been wearing this basically every single day that I have been at work and it is a pair of Nike Roche Run sneakers. Mine are looking a little bit dirty. I, as I mentioned, I have been wearing these a lot. These are the black and white Roche Run sneakers. These feel like walking on a cloud. They're amazing. They're so comfortable. You do not need to wear them in at all. And I just think that these are probably one of the best pairs of sneakers I have ever purchased. They are very practical. They have worn really well. I mean, I'm going to be taking these on my trip with me, which I'll be on once this video goes live, but I just really do think these are a fantastic pair of sneakers. I don't know why I hadn't purchased a pair of them sooner. I really did delay it for quite a long time, and they're one of the few shoes that are comfortable and that I also feel don't look incredibly stupid with most of my outfits. I do feel a little bit dorky when I'm wearing them with a pair of tights, but aside from that, I really love these. I love the way they look on, and as I said, they are super comfortable, so I really enjoy wearing these on my one and a half hour walks every single day. Another fashion item that I want to talk about is one that I've also been wearing a lot this month, and it is the Twill Zipper Tote from Everlane. Now mine is in the uh, reverse denim and black leather combination. I have a really cute little brooch here from 27 Names which says I love pandas which I think is just a really sweet touch. But one of the things I love about this is it is essentially just a really large pouch that you can throw all of your things into. There's a pocket inside, it's not zipped, where you can pop things like your wallet and your keys and your cell phone and then it has a zip. So you can then zip it up, you know, all your belongings are going to be secure and it's also just very, very practical. And that's what I enjoy about it. I just find that this has been a great alternative to my Kuyana leather tote bag, which I will be doing a review on for those who have asked for it. So do keep an eye out for that because I am hoping to share it with you in the next few weeks. But this just really is a wonderful bag. The fabric has actually softened up so much. And I actually ended up purchasing the reverse denim backpack from Evelyn as well, which is for Luke, and he loves it. He says it's one of the best backpacks that he's ever had. So yeah, I'm just overall very happy with this. I do have to say that I think the straps are probably a little bit wider than I would have liked, but I think it's just because I have very narrow shoulders, so sometimes they do slip off. So just keep that in mind if you're like me and you aren't broad-shouldered, that the straps might slip off, but you can just put them back on again. It's just one of those things. Then moving on to beauty favorites, and the first thing I want to share with you guys is actually a hair care product. And I know I don't talk about hair care too often, but one thing I have been really, really loving is an organics product. And you guys know how much I love organics, or as they have rebranded OGX. And this is the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil. Now that is a mouthful. And I picked this up because I was running low on my Kukui oil, which you guys already know I love. I've mentioned it in my favorites before, and also I think in my hair styling routine video. But this just really sold me because it says here that the oil is designed to transform dry parched hair into silky, shiny perfection. And that just really was all I needed to read. And I thought, you know, I need to buy that. And I have to say, it has definitely made a difference. I even asked Luke, does he think my hair looks nicer than it did before? And he said, yeah, it definitely looks shinier. It's definitely softer. And I have to say, this smells amazing. It smells almost like a coconut cotton candy. It's a little bit sweet, but I just find it is really, really a nice scent to be spraying onto your hair after you've had a shower. I just pop this into my hair when it's a little bit damp, and sometimes I'll spray a little bit onto my hands and then just kind of rub it through my hair like that um, in the morning after I've washed my hair just because I find that that just helps to add a little bit more gloss and sheen to it. So very, very happy and pleased with this purchase and it will be coming along with me on my trip. Then the next few things that I want to talk about are all kind of like face and eye products. So I think I might just talk about the one concealer I have here. And this is the YSL Touche Clark. 
and mine is a limited edition. I have it, this for a little while now. Um, it's kind of got a leopard print. But what I love about this is it's almost like a peachy tone and it really helps to uh, counteract and balance the darkness that I have under my eyes sometimes. Also, I tend to get a little bit of redness here around my nose, which is due to eczema and this really does help to conceal that. And I think it's also got some little light reflecting particles in it as well. And it is one of those cult beauty items and I think it is really clear why. So just been loving that. And the other three products that I want to mention, they're all for eyes. And I think I might start with the eyeshadow stick. So the eyeshadow stick I have here is from NARS. This is in the shade Oaxaca, I think is how you pronounce it. This is one of their velvet shadow sticks and it is just a really pretty, quite neutral, taupey, shimmery shade. And I find this is just really lovely when you draw it all over the lids and then just kind of blend it out into the crease. It adds a lot of dimension and I find it's just really natural, so easy when you're not sure what you want to wear on your eyes. And I think the formula is really lovely too. It is very creamy. It is so easy to work with. But yeah, basically I find that this has pretty good wear time as well. I mean, if you have oily eyelids like me, then you definitely need to wear a primer. I do with this. I either use one from Lorac, although my favorite is certainly the NARS Smudge Proof Pro eyeshadow base, I think it's called. Um, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But yeah, this is just a really lovely everyday shade. And I think it's also sort of sits in the same category as the By Terry Ombre Black Stars as well, which I love. So all right, next, I think it's probably makes sense to talk about my favorite eyeliner that I have been loving recently. So as you guys probably know, uh, one of my favorite eyeliners is from Stila. It's the Stila Stale Day Liquid Eyeliner, and I have been using that for years, and it's kind of been my go-to, one of those ones that I know that I can rely on. I mean, sometimes it doesn't always perform the way that I want it to, but it's typically one of those ones that I can always reach for and I'll be able to get the look that I'm going for. Now, I decided to branch out a little bit and I found one which I think rivals it. I think it is actually the same quality, if not perhaps a little bit easier to work with. I know the nib is a lot better and Anyway, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. So this is one of those pen eyeliners, but it's got a much finer nib than the Stila eyeliner. And I find that this is just also a lot easier to work with. And it has the same sort of formula, same sort of consistency. I find the wear time on this is exactly the same. And this is definitely a lot cheaper. So this is probably going to be my new go-to from now. This is supposed to be waterproof. I know for certain it isn't because I tested it and water does make it come off, but I do think that it wears a lot better than some of the other liquid eyeliners that I have tried. So that is certainly a winner for me. And then the last product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is a mascara. And this is actually one that I've mentioned before, but I just really have been reaching for it a lot this month. And I wanted to mention that to you guys, and it is the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Mascara. The name always gets me on this. I always get really tongue-tied when I'm trying to say it. But this is just one of the greatest drugstore mascaras that I have come across. I really quite like the brush. I have to say it kind of has an angle to it. So it is skinnier at one end, bigger at the other. It is great for getting in those lashes in, the, in a corner and also on the outer edge. I just think that the design of this is brilliant. It's genius. It doesn't smudge on me. It wears all day. Um, and this isn't the waterproof version either. So very, very pleased with this. And it really just opens up your eyes. And I have to say, I think this is probably going to be the mascara I wear on my wedding day, which says a lot because you kind of want it to be a really good mascara. I'm going to try the, um, is it the Maybelline Great Lash? Mascara, I've or sensational mascara, I've heard that's really good. I'll give that a try too, but I think this is probably going to be the one I go for, but possibly a waterproof version because I might get a little bit teary, who knows. But yeah, so those were all of my beauty and fashion favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do want to see me mix things up a little bit and share my favorite outfits with you guys, then let me know in the comments below. As, as I mentioned, I just want to make sure that I'm giving you guys really engaging content and that I am kind of giving you guys what you want to see. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and keep an eye out for my next video. It might be a travel vlog if I can manage to upload it. Otherwise, um, I've got a few other things up my sleeve that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you very soon. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.